check it out in this video I'm this is my FR 2310 um, this these are 310s with a 246 frame this is a 266 frame from Flying Eagle with uh, 110 mi well, 125 millimeters so let me show you guys the difference if you can see it let's see how good you can see it so that's what the skates gonna look like and uh, I am so excited scrub this is gonna be badass this is gonna be way too badass Look, Scrum, it's gonna look something like this. Check it out, you guys. It should look something like that in the end. Bam. I believe it should fit just fine. All right, let's see if there's uh, if it's possible if it even fits. Oh, let's jump! It's gonna look something like this. Should look badass, huh? All right, so check it out real fast. I just wanted to see if this bolt even fits in here. And it does without having to do anything. You saw it here. This is the FR 8 millimeter bolt, not the four millimeter like everyone else. So uh, now I do know that I can definitely put this 125 frame on my FR boot and I will do that right now. I'm so excited. It fits, my love. Cha chain. Time lapse time. All right, so I have my Seba, my dreaded Seba tool, which is FR tool now. So I'm taking off my 110 frame, which is the 246 millimeter frame, and um, do your best to keep the exact same bolt on the exact same side. Like this one came out from the back, it's gonna stay in the back. Just gonna leave it back here. This one came out from the front, it's gonna stay over here. So I'm gonna clean all this off and then uh, put the 125 frame. So man, I'm really excited. You can see the, the, the wheel difference. Just pumped up. <laughs> anyway. Here dropping things. So excited. Put this back together. Alright, so check it out. I'm putting the back wheel on first. I'm screwing it. The washer came off. Alright. Put on the center one first before you do anything. And see how that works out. This is going to look awesome. Yeah. 
when it comes to fixing a skate, you have no no help, so you gotta do everything alone, which sucks. Maybe like a boot holder would have really helped right here. Or actually, this really this really works right here. So it's not gonna get come out straight in the first one. Or is it? it? Looks pretty freaking straight right there. And hold your frame when you tighten it because um, I'm over here trying to tighten it with the the regular tool. It won't it won't work. Um, I'm tightening it on and holding it right in the middle. That's where you want to start off, and then you can uh, adjust from there. So I didn't squeeze it on too tight so that I could still move the front. And now I'm going to remove the front wheel. No longest video ever. But I may not, may not have to remove the front wheel as it gives you options of where you want to place it. Where you want to put the most of the pressure and I think, should I try, I'm just going to do the middle, just keep it safe. I don't know how much I'm getting on the, the video, I need a really, um, I don't know, it's coming out, let's see how it comes out. See right there, I'll do it as best as I can to show the camera. All right, so right there is right down the middle, and remember that uh, when you actually have your your wheel on, you want your wheel a little to the inside, just a little to the inside instead of to the outside, because you'll really go out, but you won't really go in. So, personally, for to me right there, it looks like it's where it has to be. Of course, I'm gonna skate one. Uh, I'm going to try it out and then probably adjust. So right there it looks in the middle in the back, it looks in the middle in the front. So I'm just going to tighten up the bolts and have some have some fun. And you'll really be able to tell when you put the front wheel in because that, that's the one that's going to be you're going to be able to really notice if you have to adjust or not through the front wheel. Check it. And it goes from, from experience of how I, I like to skate. So I know that my right foot goes a little slanted. So. Uh, you see right there, that's right on the line, that's perfect, perfect. I may still have to scoot the wheel inward a little because I know my right foot needs the help. So, uh, but for right now it looks really good. It's right in the middle where it should be, probably where you're gonna be getting it stock. Um, yeah, that looks really cool. All right, let me put that last wheel in so you can see this beautiful setup.
All right, so there you have it. Long ass video, the final setup, the FR skate. Yeah. With the Flying Eagle 125 Ultrasonic. Ooh, that looks nice. All right, that's my video. It looks pretty straight. Um, that's what my FR is gonna look like on Wednesday night skate. I think it looks awesome. Um, if you're not into the pink, then whatever. Buy yourself any other frame. Um, I'm pretty happy. I'm definitely gonna test them out before going on that 11 mile skate. Uh, so. That's my FR2 with the Ultrasonics 125, 266mm long uh, frame. Alright, peace out.